the advice. If the opinions and views of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Welcome to our show, Heartbeat Live. I'm your host, Ray Orosa. Magkakapiling po tayo sa loob ng halos isang oras as before. But una-una, gusto ko lang sabihin na galak na galak ako na medyo nakabalik tayo sa ating programa. Sana hindi kayo nawala ng pasensya nung panayang aming replay because I was not available. Pasensya na po kayo. Pero sa gabi ito po, medyo lilihis tayo ng konti sa ating pong, uh, dating patakaran. Na napapag-usapan natin, napakadaming mga issue tungkol sa ating bansa, lalo-lalo na po sa lansangan ng, uh, lara, uh, ng, ng uh, politika. Pero sa gabi ito, meron din konting politika dito kasi wala naman tayong magagawa na walang politika. Eh, maski na sa pamilya, maraming politika, hindi ba? So dito, pag-uusapan natin po isang bagay, Ma maiba tayo sa atin dating nakakagawi ang pag-usapan. Pag-uusapan natin, ano ba nangyari sa London Olympics? Bakit ba napaka... Hmm, ng performance ng ating bansa. Eh, nagiging masyadong habit na ata po yung poor performance. Eh. Di ba? Yan, kanya po inanyahan namin dito, uh, dalawang very prominent people in the sports field. Uh, uunahin ko pong pakilala sa inyo. Eh, hindi lang siya at, uh, abogada. Siya pa din ay economist. So, pwede kami magkasundo because larangan din natin yung economics. Ano? Wala pong iba kundi si Atty. Maria Luz Arsaga Mendoza. And si Atty. Maria Luz po ay miyembro ng Working Committee ng Senado natin na pinag-aaralan ang kung ano ba ang diferensya sa sports na kalagayan ng sports dito sa ating bansa. So, she's on one side looking at the total sports picture to find out bakit ganito ang performance natin. At ang pangalawa natin panauhin po sa gabing ito, ay isang tao na very long ago, matagal na po, associated with sports, lalong-lalo na po sa paglangoy. She, says, she was a swimmer, I think, and was in competitive sports. Sabi niya, mga limang taong pa lang siya, nagumpisa na siya. Eh. But she is now uh, uh, coaching and, and, and helping to train a lot of uh, men and women into how to become really top-notch competitive uh, uh, swimmers. And then both of them can talk to us at pwede tayong kausapin tungkol sa mga problema ng sport sa lahat. Sapagat malapit na magkaroon ng eleksyon ngayon ng Philippine Olympic Committee. Meron dyan mga nagpapanggap na maging chairman muli ng, ng POC. Meron namang iba dyan na parang natatakot na pumasok at, malam, at uh, makialam o kaya makipag-compete uh, dahil sa mga pangalan ng mga involved. Kanya po, eh, eh, ang gawin natin ngayon, Uh, paalam ko sa inyo, itong si coach natin na kasama natin dito, si Coach Susan Papa. Those of you who have known about swimming, that name is so familiar. Si Coach Susan Papa. Welcome to the show. Thank you for being with us. Uh, in some respects, uh, pag-uusapan natin while we are going to deal with the overall sports picture, maybe one good example is ano ba nangyayari sa swimming and bakit naging ganun ang performance so you can see it po from both perspectives from a broad one and from a specific one and then you can draw your own conclusions bakit ganito ang kalagayan ng sport dito sa ating bayan okay all right uh, attorney maria luz yun na ba ang pwede ko itawag sa iyo oh you can call me that name yes. okay so, wonderful ano bang uh, in the first place how did you get involved with the senate review of the sports situation dito sa ating bansa. Okay. Um, yes, I got involved in the Senate um, 
perhaps uh, during the past years, I have been invited during the congressional hearings uh -oh. and Senate hearings. And uh, they may have sports background. Oh, I was a swimmer. I was a national record holder wow. in 100 meters backstroke okay. in the uh, 70s. Yes, uh -oh. and I was in the 7th Asian Games, Bangkok, Thailand, uh -oh. and our team garnered bronze medal. Uy, at least Together with Susan, kayo, yes. Kasama ni Susan. Yes, ha, right? yes, yes. Ah, meron pala kayong common link ngayon dahil pareho kayong swimmer. Ha? Yes, yes. Wonderful. Like, Ikaw ba, Susan? Uh, if she's backstroke, what were you? Freestyle? I'm a butterflyer. Butterflyer. I'm okay. also the... Well, Hirap-hirap ng butterfly, di ba? Yes, what, uh, the hardest. The hardest yeah. method of swimming is mm -hmm. butterfly. Butterfly. Right. Okay, why did you... Uh, when did you stop? Oh, I stopped when I entered College of Law. Ah, yes. okay. And... Um, after, actually, after my uh, participation in the Asian Games, and Did I thought, know? yes. Okay. Um, and uh, I uh, concentrated in academics. Kailangan ngayon concentrate mo kung paano, paano kang kikita, no? Oo, opo. Ah. <laughs> Kasi yes. hindi mo naman pwedeng dalhin yung paglangoy mo. Alam mo, uh -huh. nakikita ko sa buong mundo, ang aga-aga nilang ina-identify ang potential at ang mga excellent swimmers. So, ma ikaw, kamo ka, hindi ba kamo coach Susan eh, limang taong ka pa lang eh, tinetrain ka na. Nagsimula ho ako ng five years old and uh, by the age 11, I was in the national team. Nasa okay. national team ka na? Yes, at the Ganun pa ba ginagawa ngayon? Hindi na po. <laughs> Malaking ano, pagbabago. Anong age ka ina-identify? 20? Uh, hindi po eh. Pagdating ng, ang nakakalungkot nga po, pagdating nung hinug na yung mga bata, supposedly, by the age 16, 17, 18, doon yun na nakikita mag-retire. Bakit? Eh, mali po yung proseso. Kaya nakakalungkot na since 1986, ay wala pa po tayong Asian Games medal. Wow! Si if, I may, yeah, yeah. if I may say something on this, Ray, mm. when you said, anong problema? Ganito ba? Actually, the main or the primary problem is the leadership. Okay. Of the sports. Well, I guess in many situations, pagka nagkakaproblema, it really is a problem of leadership, yes. di ba? Yes, yes. Hindi That's pwedeng right. pagkaila na yun ang problema eh. Mm -hmm. Ayan, hindi mo, ano, palagay mo, ikaw nasa ibabaw. Kung hindi mo mapasunod ng matino sa matuwid na daan, ang mga nasa sa ilalim mo, That's right. Abay, bakit ka pa nandiyan sa ibabaw? Oh, that's why they have to have the courage to say, count me out. But the thing is, the problem uh -oh. with these people who are apparently posing themselves to be in the leadership, to be in the know-how, do not know. They don't know anything of what the right hand does over the left hand. Alam mo ang katotohanan, maski na anong sabihin mo kung ikaw namumuno o kung sino man, the issue is, anong performance eh? Correct. Results. Right. Uh -huh. Results. Kung, kung uh -huh. walang resulta, Mm -mm. Well, napakahirap naman siguro magyabang. Correct. Okay. But having said that, the problem I think is that is it a question of bata-bata ang nilalagay sa pumumuno ng mga national sports associations? How are these national sports associations selected? Whether it's football, basketball, badminton, uh, uh, and all of the other sports, wushu or swimming. How are these people chosen? I will talk about swimming first mm. because nandito po ako sa swimming. That's and your then passion. At, <laughs> si Attorney Luz can talk about oh. other sports. Medyo alam swimming niya. Swimming din Kasi ako. Kasi sa <laughs> mas uh, oh. alam niya yung kabu kabuuan, what's wrong. Yung sa swimming po kasi, mula no naging exclusive siya. What na do you mean by that? Kasi ako naging pa membership eh. So yung mga... Kung hindi ka member ng NSA... hindi ka member ng NSA, hindi ka pwedeng... Maging so, kandidato. Maging kandidato. Hindi ka pwede kahit na ikaw yung pinakamalakas. Or pinakamabilis. Pinaka oh. Hindi ka pwedeng sumali. And uh, the tryout is exclu ganun. exclusive. So yun who established that rule na kailangan member ka ng NSA? Kundi, baliwala ka sa akin. Baliwala ka. The oh. leader. Yung mm. kung sino po yung presidente ng, aso uh -huh. ng uh, asosasyon. Uh -huh. So, let's say for example, sa mga swimmer sa Mindanao, eh wala naman nung may babaya dyan or public school. Uh -oh. na membership. So, actually, hindi na siya automatic. Kahit malakas siya, hindi siya member, hindi ka kasa kasali. Eh, lalo na po sa swimming, pabilisan lang naman yan eh. Ang uh -oh. time lang naman ang involved. And we really feel na kung uh, ganyan mamimili, there should be a tryout. Hindi, pero alam mo kasi ang nangyari, yung mga pinadala natin dito sa last Olympics, never even qualified. 
No. Toto po. Yung Ito. lalo na po sa swimming. Oh, sa swimming. Sa swimming. Yes. Maski na nga sa ibang sport dyan, yung ating... Uh, saan, saan lang sinasaksak? Not on the basis of performance. Eh. Because none of them qualified for Olympic standards. Yung Olympic standard na sinasabi po, oh. hindi tayo nag-qualify sa swimming. The reason why uh, the two swimmers were there, just because of wild card. You asked my point. Why do we bother to send people if they don't qualify? Huh? Si Atoni po, kayang-kaya. Anong, anong <laughs> karapatan <laughs> ng mga National Sports Association, ano, para itaas ang bandila, italo naman, and hindi nagka-qualify? Mm -hmm. Where is the honor in that? Yeah, you know, you know, Ray. I cannot respond to their thoughts. Yeah. But apparently, they do send just for the purpose of having participation. Para sila di makabiyahe din. Well, ov well, obviously that's what happened. Uh -oh. But as to non-qualification, you see, let me piggyback on what Susan, Coach uh -oh. Susan, said. Yung tanong mo na, uh, bakit ano ba yan? Exclusivity, bata bata ba yan? Uh, uh, sino naglalagay niyan? Of course, the incumbent. You know, Ray, let me give you my experience. During my time, uh -oh. uh, we were sent to international games when we qualify. Uh -oh. That's all that there is to it. Even if you don't have the money, there were... Basta magka-qualify ka. If you qualify, there were tryouts opened to all Filipino citizens. Nowadays, okay, nowadays, worse is happening because... It is not only, it's not being opened to the natural born Filipinos, but to Phil M's, uh -huh. who do not, not that I have anything against them, but what the effect is, when they're sent, it's just for one time deal. Now in the meantime, those Filipino born uh -huh. swimmers, grassroots That's level, it. just because the incumbent leader hates your face, you're not even given the opportunity to have a try out. In other words, what you're saying is, if we can, if we can uh, uh, bring into a nutshell, sinasabi mo ganito, bakit nila lock out nila ang iba, pero meron silang pinapapasok galing sa Amerika na uh, film, uh, pakatapos ang mga native-born dito na nandito sa Pilipinas, maski na anong galing nila, hindi, pag hindi membro, hindi makapasok. It's the issue of control okay. and that, money. Is it control and such smacks to me no. is discrimination. Well, it, it, it is. It is. Oh, it, yes, diba? absolutely. It's discrimination, the greed desire to accumulate money okay. and spend it at their own whims and caprice. Ihiwalay natin ang issue dito ng qualification. Mm-hmm. Lahat ng mga NSA, ang problema ngayon, di ba, nagiging issue nga ito. Why are they not being made to account for all the advances at pahirapan ang nangyayari para sila mag-account ng kanilang nagagastos? Walang accountability. That And is right. Totoo ba na wala silang accountability dito? Gusto nila ang kapangyarihan, ayaw nilang responsibilidad. Mali yun, Ray. Hindi pwede. Mali yun because pera yan ng gobyerno. Now, under the law, lahat ng channeling of funds ah. come from PAGCOR. And that is in the, in the Republic Act. So, pera to ng bayan. In fact, there are certain percentage of money earned from the charity funds of ah. PAGCOR that are infused to different NSAs. Uh, proceeds from stamps uh, sale, uh, importation of uh, sports uh, equipment. gear, equipment, ah. They all go to the uh, uh, funds that will in be infused to the NSAs. Now, you ask the question accountability. Very well, that could be su these people could be sued. Lack of uh, of of liquidating that. Wala pang nakakasilip niyan eh. Are they subject to COA? Oh, you better believe it. So what's COA doing? Well, I don't know at this point of time. In <laughs> fact, in uh -oh. fact, uh, uh, Mr. Richie Garcia, uh -oh. uh, when he assumed the position three years ago. I read in the papers at that time that he was giving amnesty for those who are unable to account. Ooh. Now, I don't understand what kind of authority he has that. Uh -huh. That is insensible, laughable, does not make any sense. Saka hindi naman yung pera. Naturalmente. Sa, diba? yes. sa, sa swimming alone, Opo. Uh, noong 2009, uh -huh. $34 million was given to the association uh -huh. in preparation for the 2012 Olympics. Oh. But by 2009 also, wala na yung pera eh. Ubus na eh. <laughs> Walang nangyari dun sa pera ang binigay. That, that, ang, ang, parang lumalabas dito, kung sino man ang naghahangad na maging chairman ng Philippine Olympic Committee or Philippine Sports Committee, 
kailangan bahagi ng kanilang pangako dito, ipatutuwiri nilang lahat yan. Otherwise, kalimutan na natin ang, ang sports ba exempt from the matuwid na daan. It should not be, Ray. Well, eh, Hindi ka rapat natin. dapat yun. Pero pwede natin sabihin, haba ay nakagisnang kung na yun. Yan ang kalakalan, kalakalan, matagal na. Mali. Mali nga. Maling Kaya, pangungusap. Eh kung hindi naman sila mag-uumpisa para patinuin yan at tapos itinatago lahat ng mga magandang sekreto o lahat ng kabalastugan nangyayari o kaya palakasan ng nangyayari kung sinong mananagot at sinong hindi, maganda maliterato yan. Yeah, Ay, no. in, in, in fact, Ray, ang isa pang mali, no? uh, we have the POC. Now, it stands for Philippine Olympic Committee. Committee. We have the PSC, the Philippine Sports Commission. We have the National Sports Association, yung iba-ibang sports. Now, these three, apparently, uh, the leader should be itong PSC because that's the government agency. Parang yan yung police dog eh. PSC, hindi POC. No, not POC, POC, but apparently, ang POC right now under the Trying leadership. Trying to lord it over everybody. Correct, ex exactly. And PSC, well, you know, uh, it has been known in the public that this appointment of PSC is through the grace of... Uh, of uh, POC. So therefore, he is inutile in the sense he couldn't move. Hindi niya mapwedeng kontrahin. Hindi niya mapwedeng. Nung... You see, Philippine Olympic Committee pertains mm. only to international Olympic Games. It has nothing to do with, with the regional uh, correct, and local. Yes, and, or, even, or even the implementation of the law for the citizens of the Philippines. But ang lumalabas, parang siya ang namamahala sa buong sports. And all these NSAs, including Mr. Richie Garcia, are just amending to everything what he says. And I do not understand why we allow this. Uh, you know, uh, Ray, even in the Congress, during uh -huh. the congressional hearings, in the Senate, I have voiced out loud, as clear as anyone can hear, but nothing happened. Uh, nothing happened. Sa Senado? Well, of course, in aid of legislation, they can do political uh, will. They can do that. Because Ray, sa sports natin, uh -oh. you cannot just allow a particular NSA or PSC to thrive, and then overnight we see success. No, we can't do that. This Long has got effort. to. consolidation. Even oh. private, private uh, firm sectors should be. Uh, in participation with this, our government should be. Ano nang yayari sa support ng mga private corporations for all of this? That yung is a hidden agenda. Okay. Pero yung ba, do they make an account of that? Exactly, Ray. That's a very good point. Dapat yan, that has got to be a full disclosure. Uh -oh. I know some banks help. I know some private sectors help. But you do not see that. Nothing at all. Wala. Palagay ko, kaya ang nangyayari kasi. Uh -oh. Kaya nandun yung mga... Uh, even they are not no performing association sila or the POC are not nobody performing. Cares. Mm. Nobody cares. Oh, yan na. Pumapasok na mga text natin. 0916-736-1553. Uh, maybe this is for you, attorney. What do you think will solve our problem in sports? Kailangan ba itong pakialaman pa ng Pangulo? K oh, yes. We need Kamisa. everybody's, we need everybody's oh. participation. You see, Ray, uh, ano bang tawag doon? Talakalan yan sa ating pamahalaan eh. Oh. Alam mo, uh, it, this is a government agency. The moment it is endorsed, when you don't get the grace from the president, then wala yan. It can sit there. It can be pigeonholed. During my time, Ray, the, during the reign oh. of President Marcos, nakikialam yan eh. That's why flourishing ang sports during the time. In, if you remember the Gintong Alay, oh. when President Marcos created that particular agency, talagang lumawak ang participation ng sports. Wala na, patay na ngayon eh. Uh, now and yet, everybody blames everybody. You know, we should Pero not be blaming ng responsibility. Ng, ng responsibility. Uh, ang mga athletes are always there, ready. They're ju we're, we're just like soldiers. Oh. Ready yan. Pero, Pero yung namumuno. Oh, hindi nakakarating yung, this, ang, yung, yung, yung supporta, hindi nakakarating. Yes. 0928908 Ruel of Quezon City. Sa tingin niyo po ba, pati sports e na po politika? Oh, oh yes. Oh, oh. Nadinig na yung sagot ni Coach Susan at saka ni Atty. Talaga daw na po politika. Alam mo, talaga dapat ang mga politiko hindi makiilam dyan sa... Dapat ibigay nila talaga sa... Talaga ibigay nila sa private... May mga heart and soul. Yung mga may puso talaga na... Kasi ang tanong ko dito, bakit lahat ng ibang bansa, mas mayaman sa atin at mas mahirap sa atin, they can impose that discipline to create a good national team. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, consistent with the resources that they can master. 
Pero bakit sa atin dito ang gulo-gulo-gulo-gulo? Pero May alam nila, eh. at saka alam nila kung paano talaga patakbuhin. Yung mga namumuno, alam no. nila, hindi sila politika eh. Sa na, POC, hindi, politika. Hindi, pero maski na walang politika, baka naman umiiral dyan, Oy, pare, yung anak ko naman siguro yung malagay sa team, o oh, ganito, 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 bahala ka na kung paano mong gagawin. Yan ba nangyayari? Yes, kasi nga Ray, if you notice, in any in any organization, mas malabo, mas maganda sa setup. Why? Magulo eh. So nobody can question. Kung hindi kung maayos and transparent, madali mo madetekto. Sa atin right now, sige, right at this point of time, walk into an, a particular NSA. Check it out. Wala, magulo. 'Yun ang maganda. Wow. Kasi makakalusot eh. 'Di ba? Mas magulo, mas maganda para sa kanila. Maybe this is one way of trying to demonstrate or to prove how deep is the problem, the corruption problem in our nation. It encompasses just about everything. Mm -hmm. Wala tayong makitang isang lugar na hindi pinapasukan eh. Pati nga man yung mga CC, yung CCT distribution pinapasukan na ng katakot-takot na nagulot corruption. Eh, ito pa kaya ang sports. Malaking pera kung minsan ang nabibigay dyan sa mga yes, National Sports yes. Association. Eh ngayon, kung wala naman tumitingin sa kanilang ginagastos, kanin yun, hindi nyo malaman kung nag-o-office doon ng COA o paminsan-minsan sa loob ng sampung taon lang nagpupunta. Mm -hmm. Hindi natitingnan kung anong ginagawa. Ay talagang problema. From 0915-520-6161, ano po ba ang setup ngayon sa sports? How do we select representatives in international sports competition? You, know, you were beginning to tell nga na una-una, uh, kung hindi ka miyembro ng asosyasyon, anong, walang kwenta kung gano'n ka galing ka. What? Yes. Hindi ka makapasok. Hindi ka yun. pwedeng mag-try. And sinasabi nyo sa tingin nyo hindi tama yun. Dapat open to all Filipinos. Yes. As long as you're you know, a Filipino citizen, Ray, dapat... You oh, represent open. the Republic of the Philippines. So Not the sports association. Yes, you represent the country. So henceforth, it must be open to all, all Filipino, Filipino citizens. citizens. Oh. Diba? Okay, do you believe in setting standards that are progressive so that by the time dumating ang Olympics, which is every two years ba yan? Every four every years. Four or every years. four years. Every four years. Uh, kailangan umpisahan mo yan mga three or four years after the previous Olympics. Apat na taong kang naghahanda eh. Para right. madala mo yung mga tao to the level of performance that will qualify with international standards. Kasi kung ang goal natin, sa halimpusa, nakakuhiya no, naman. No, actually, Ray, huh? yung point mong yan, yung it's, I may call it periodization, kailangan yan eh. You know, uh -huh. you will be amazed in other countries. no? Uh -huh. When they say, like for example, Canada, in the last Olympic Games, Canada said, or, or in the previous years, Canada said, we will get medals in the next 20 years. Naka-ano na yun, naka-calendar na yun, yes. Program, and, and on that 20th year, talagang right on the spot, they garnered medals. Sa atin, ningas kugon, you know. Oh. And, and you know what is amazing, Ray? Oh. We, we are all Filipinos, alam natin yan. After the, after the uh, Olympic Games, andyan na lahat, ningas kugon lahat. Lahat ng senators, lahat ng congressmen will say, ganito ang gawin nyo, ganito ang gawin nyo. Ba't pa sila nakikilam yes. din? Yes, and then, in, in fact, even the premise that, oh, what is important in the Olympic Games is the participation. Forget about the participation. Tama kung wala ka, ka na may papakita doon, kung hindi talo, oh, talo, 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 hindi ka, ka makaabot sa standard. Oh, ano should... pagmamalaki natin yes. doon? Yes. Like, lahat ng mga runners natin, huli! Mm-hmm. Kahit sa swimming. Nakakasawa na yung parang oh. saling pusa, Ray. Kasawang-sawa na yun. Talaga At saka naman. yung, uh, Ray, no? yung uh, sa swimming, yung kasi yun talaga oh, oh. yung sa akin, ano? Two months na lang, hindi pa alam kung sino yung padadala eh. Yun na nga eh. Well, sino 916-736-1553? Ito naman, very uh, provocative question. Do you think abolishment of POC is the answer? Well, uh, to begin with, the abolition of the POC may not be the answer. Oh, it may be. It's a question of establishing Kasi that the POC eh? must work together with the PSC, yes. but they are on an equal footing. Correct. Uh, Hindi well, yung isa sa ibabaw ng isa. You know, Ray, I beg to disagree even with that equal footing. Ganun ba? Oh, okay. Ang Anong POC should mo? You see, Ray, POC is a private entity. It's just like, for example, GNN. GNN exercises uh, a practice in journalism, right? Uh -oh. And the government agency like Securities Exchange Commission or other government agencies that uh -oh. will ensure that you are following the laws. Now, GNN cannot be on top of the government agency. Okay. Ang dapat gawin ito ng... So what you're saying is the government agency really is PSC. 
So it should yes. be on yes. top yes. of, of right. the POC. Of the POC. POC. Yes. Okay. Actually, ang POC should mind its own business, particularly on Olympic Games alone. Oh. On Olympic Games alone. Pero but, but can they not say, Aba, hindi pwedeng Olympic Games lang kasi pinaghahandaan itong apat na taon. So I have to get involved with the preparation. Yes, yes. Oh. Uh, that includes that, Ray. That includes that. And then yung preparation niya, it, shall, it must coordinate with the NSAs. Dahil hindi naman niya oh. kilala yung mga atleta hindi, eh. Hindi, at hindi naman siya in charge ng NSA eh. Yes. It's under the PSC. Yes. Eh, kanya lang, eh, paano ko? Hindi ako pansinin ng PSC. And I like your statement. He, he, they're lording it over to themselves. Oh, Kaya ang doon lahat ng gakamali. Ang problema ko, naman ako nasa PSC. Eh, paano kung hindi naman ako pinapansin? Eh, siya yung nagbibigay ng pera eh. Eh, you know what, Ray? <laughs> oh. Hindi ka pinapansin? <laughs> Oh. Then, if you cannot defend yourself, you are not meant for that position. It's a private organization. Yan eh. yeah, yung, Walang, wala talagang it, oversight. Hindi siya yes, 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 yes. And if you don't have that courage to stand up for the position that you're, sports, you are. Yung head ng, yung oh. padre de familia. Okay. Umalis ka dyan. You know? <laughs> you're not intended for Alaf, that. Alaf, mahirap ko minsan kausapin ng mga mm, <laughs> tungkol dito sa mga bagay na ito. Pero, last question natin bago tayo mag-break at Sinisignalan na ako eh. 0906-433-4983. Ang mga malakas ay nasa mahihirap, lalo na sa sulo. Pag walang suporta, paano na sila? Tama Doon na pumapasok yun. yung sinasabi kong, kasi exclusive siya eh. Members only. Walang pambayad ng membership yung oh, mga Hindi ka pwedeng sumali. Well, hindi, hindi ka pwedeng Ooh. lumaban. Tama kasi kung ha? hindi, sasabihin niya, kung may members na siya na limang daan, Oh. At sasali yung tigahulo na hindi member. Yung limang daan, masususpendi. Ala! Yun na nagiging problema. Ang hirap ating kalagayan. Now, oh. before we go ahead, sinisignal na ako, we'll pause for a few reminders. Huwag pa kayong mawawala at marami pa tayong mga text dito na kailangan sagutin.